Hello guys and today welcome to a completely different video than usual. This is about a uh, driving simulation I wrote before I even started to study. So this program is like three and a half years old or something. And um, it is uh, about yeah car physics in, in two dimensions pretty much. So um, there is no third dimension. There is actually also nothing where the car could crash against or anything. But it's just about the, the tire physics. And um, I wrote this with a program called Game Maker. I was just curious to see how do you actually program stuff, and I was somehow interested in doing this. Uh, and the thing is, well, this is actually yeah. Uh, since I hadn't have any programming experience, pretty badly coded and stuff, but the outcome was pretty interesting. And mm. there are some proper physics algorithms and proper um, uh, yeah um, equation solving algorithms implemented. And let me just show you how this works. And I can you can also download the software. It unfortunately, f so I can al already tell you this. It only properly works with a Microsoft Xbox 360 controller because you can't change the control uh, keys. And I don't intend to work or mess around with this program. I just wanted to show you what it currently can and what it does and so on. So let's start. So um, you see those three bars in the top bottom there. The uh, right one is the clutch. So it tells you how much you engage the clutch. I can control this with uh, the right upper uh, stick. You, If you have an Xbox 360 gamepad and want to try it out, I will also write down the controls in the description. Uh, so the steering wheel is, is, yeah, obviously also it's analog, so you can steer uh, slightly or even more. And um, then there's the brake and the throttle. The throttle is currently limited to half, as you can probably tell. The reason for this is that I currently have, um, I adapted, uh, I installed two electronic um, uh, aids and that is first of all uh, the uh, anti-wheel uh, lock system. I don't know how you can call this in English but it pretty much prevents the tires from stopping when you don't move and by the way don't um, care about the tire marks on the floor there because uh, the simulation has some trouble with properly displaying those tire marks at low speeds. There was a bug with it which I never fixed because it's just purely aesthetical, whatever. Um, so the right one is the electronic traction control system and if I disable it, so if the lamp is actually blinking, I can also go full throttle from the standstill, but whatever. So I need to press or uh, uh, put my foot on, or better say the thumb on the uh, clutch and then I can start the engine. So if I just release the clutch now, guess what happens? Nothing because we are in uh, gear zero, but if I turn into the first gear, well, yeah, the motor dies because <laughs> we obviously uh, didn't give any throttle and just uh, yeah, stalled the motor. Whatever. So. Um, so there's actually a proper throttle curve uh, int integrated into this, so I can go full throttle and then uh, yeah, you can hear the engine sound. Uh, I can engage first gear and then just try to slowly accelerate. And as I said, don't care about the tire marks at low speeds. Then I need to engage the clutch, can go into the second gear and so on. And well, the car has currently around, let me check, uh, 550 horsepower so I try to adjust everything to scale so you know you know the car is, uh, is so and so many pixels long so that uh, the speedometer and everything displays the actual speed so if it's like uh, driving 100 kilometers an hour that is uh, roughly 27 meters per second so it should be roughly uh, five and a half times the car length per second so I adjusted this to this and it works pretty well so let me just show you what this car can actually do I mean, this is obviously boring. So you can already see this anti-wheel lock system. If I, well, let's let's just go through it step by step. So what can I do first of all? Well, obviously, uh, just uh, try to do wheel spins. And um, the fun part of this thing thing is, um, well, you can try to drift. And I never actually implemented any drifting algorithm or anything. It just came from natural car physics. Woohoo! And um, there's a lot more to this. So. Let's see, what else can we do? Uh, um, right now the car is actually pretty stable because the rear tires have a lot more grip than the front tires and that stabilizes the car. Can also go into back uh, uh, reverse gear for example and then just uh, quickly turn around. Woohoo! <laughs> it's pretty fun. And um, yeah, if you are don't know what you're doing it easily can um, 
yeah break out or anything so let me just uh, tell you a little bit more so the controls work uh, well with the um, uh, shoulder buttons of the co controller here can switch between the different gears I also have a nitro uh, indicator on the left it's just uh, well the nitro boosts your engine power so that's all as long as I engage that and um, there are a lot of interesting measurements you can do. So let's 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 start up the engine again. Uh, when I press one on the keyboard, you will see this zero to one hundred in uh, so and so many seconds. So this is kilometers an hour, not miles per hour. In case you are from the US. <laughs> uh, so uh, what happens if I just uh, this enable the traction control, enable automatic clutch. This is you can't see this, but I enabled it right now, so I can release the clutch and it does this everything automatic and just go on the throttle. Well. I have to release the um, throttle as well and eventually I will hit 100 kilometers an hour. I can also go a little bit quicker, try it out. Um, for example, just directly start in second gear and see what happens. And you can see, well, it still is very powerful, that car. Um, I can re uh, rewind that measurement. Uh, well, unfortunately, I should not do it while the car is running because otherwise the time instantly starts. So let's see how long this takes. Well, the thing is, uh, so you might wonder what's the fastest way to accelerate. And indeed, the fastest way is just to disable, uh, disable all these automatic aids here and just go full throttle. <laughs> and for example, a wheel spin right from the start is already pretty quick. And you can see the tire marks. Yeah. And uh, I didn't, didn't measure the time right now. Let me do this again. So. Da -da -da. And there we go. So, 3.83. But it's actually quicker. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sometimes you need to watch out. Uh, because the rear wheels really tend to uh, oversteer when you have no throttle engaged. Because that way the load shift to the back wheels due to the acceleration is not there. And... You can set a all these parameters, well you can't set it in the version I'm going to give you, but uh, if in the program there are all parameters like the ro uh, rotational momentum, uh, so the vertical moment of momentum of inertia, so in all actually in all three axes, as well as the total mass, uh, the uh, moment of inertia of each wheel of, our, of, of the um, transmission uh, and uh, the diameter of the wheel and all this stuff is actually being calculated. Um, I know that it's still not 100% accurate, this uh, uh, simulation is currently lacking of any suspension uh, at all and it's also just an actual two-wheel simulation, not a four-wheel one, so it's pretty much a bicycle which just can't f tip over. Uh, so there are only there's only one centered back wheel and one centered front wheel which where you can adjust the angle by rotating the steering wheel it's just as a bicycle which uh, pretty much actually simulated uh, so the ap it ap there appear to be four tire marks obviously but it's just aesthetical as I said so the actual physics engine doesn't take that into consideration um, but it's pretty cool so what I can for example do is I can lower the traction the front ones. Um, so what else can you do with this simulation? Well, you can just uh, uh, try some physics here or just have some fun drifting. Um, so let, let's see, I guess this is actually the best drift setup. Uh, um, and try to do donuts. Uh, uh, it's not that simple. Uh, uh. Whoa, 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 come on, come on, come on. Uh. Ah! You either easily get into over or under steering. It's really hard to actually control the donut properly because what I you also tend to do because there's no force feedback is that you uh, tend to uh, uh, to steer the steering wheel way too much so that the tires are pretty much like uh, perpendicular to the direction you're actually drifting. And that means that they uh, just act as if you would apply brake to the front wheel since you are they are like perpendicular to the way you're traveling because you just go full rotation wheel because there's no force feedback which would uh, tell you how much you should apply apply the, uh, the uh, steering wheel. So this is a little bit hard to control. Let me do it. Say, oh. See whether I can... <laughs> well, it's it's hard, as I said. So wha whatever. What else? It's fun. <laughs> I'll da -da -dum. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't drift. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Shank it! Yes! That was actually <laughs> a pretty awesome drift! An unintentional one! Whoa! Come on! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! 
Woo! Woohoo! Ah, I almost went to uh, st uh, stop there. Let's let's come. Ah. But yeah, you can see it is pretty quite interesting. Um, so what did I not mention yet? Well, you can let's uh, tr let's try out the nitro. Um, so so it, it there's just an additional button I can uh, press, and that will just uh, <laughs> inhale a blue flame 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 out of the car. <laughs> and you don't see much of a difference when I'm tire grip. Um, so traction control on and. Automatic clutch on and s now it should be way easier to control. So. Yeah, it's actually possible to see right now if with all those electronic aids it's pretty uh, simple. Yeah, this is like maximum radius I can go at this speed here. Whoa, 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 whoa does it? Ah, ah I managed to f <laughs> to break the system. <laughs> uh, so whatever. Uh, if you also, uh, if you obviously just apply too much of the steering wheel at high speeds, uh, no electronic aid will a a be able to help you in this situation. Um, but anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have fun with this program in case you want to try it out. And goodbye.